Hey, Spy here, and welcome back to another Space Engineers episode, and today we are building a space shuttle to get to space. But it might be a little complicated because in our toolbar down below, you'll see that we need to build a lot of stuff. We're going to need an O2 H2 generator to produce oxygen and hydrogen, but we have to store those inside these gigantic tanks here which go on our ship and these hydrogen thrusters need a lot of fuel so we're gonna have to collect a lot of ice so i built this little tiny ship starter thing which is connected to our base so that this module here will weld everything for us so let's get started we're going to expand this little ship starter thing out this way a little bit and then we're going to put on our little tiny hydrogen tank we need to put conveyors out like this way here. Let's place down our hydrogen thrusters. I don't know if this is gonna be enough force to get us to space, but hopefully. Hopefully is the keyword. So place these on every single direction. It might be a little heavy. I don't know. O2 H2 generator. Now, how do I connect this? Oh, I think I could put it like right up there. I'm going to put my cockpit up here because we need it connected to our oxygen tank. It's gonna look a little weird. Actually, you know what? That kind of looks cool. <laughs> looks like something from Star Wars. Maybe a bounty hunter ship? What else do we need? I think we're gonna need some batteries. And to help with propulsion in the atmosphere, I'm going to throw down some atmospheric thrusters. Maybe one right there, one there. So let's throw some landing gear on the bottom here. <laughs> what is this thing? I think this thing looks awesome. What do you guys think? What should we name this ship? Well, now that we have most of the stuff constructed, we are going to need um, some cobalt for our metal grids. And if I remember correctly, we did find some last episode. Let's, so let's go into our GPS here and um, show on HUD. Gold, cobalt, right here. So if we mine down, we should be able to find it. Let's see. Uh, we got iron and ice. Obviously a lot of ice, which is good because we're going to need it for our ship for hydrogen fuel. I think the cobalt and gold were really far down. Here's some iron. I don't want to waste it, so I'm just going to dig it while we go down. There's the cobalt. It's a nice blue glimmer. Okay, let's go back up. Holy, this cave is huge. Look at this. I really hope I don't run out of fuel down here because that would be really bad. Go, 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 go. Nice. We made it out. So just throw all this stuff inside our refinery and take a look at this. This is looking awesome. I really hope it works because if it doesn't, we're in a little bit of trouble. Yeah. So we're going to throw our ice into the O2H2 generator and it's going to fill our hydrogen tank. Currently we have 0.4% fuel. This might take a while. <laughs> Okay, full inventory of ice, throw that in there. So while we wait for that to fill, I am going to place down a lot of these little tiny solar panels on our ship. So while we're in space, it will continuously charge our batteries while the sun is looking at it. Let's put some big ones on the side of this hydrogen tank as well. And I almost forgot, if we want to get resources in space, we're going to need to get a survival kit, I think. Hope that works. Put that there. The only problem is I don't have any silver for the medical components, so I think I'm going to break our survival kit here. Hopefully that doesn't break anything too bad. Uh, oh, thanks for all the stone. Throw that there, because I don't know if we're ever coming back to Earth, so this base here might be gone. We're going to need a gyro on this thing, so we don't spin out of control and die. <laughs> Oh, where should I place this? Maybe like right in the front, uh, like right there. Okay, let's grab some resources for space because once we get there, we might have to establish a little base or something like that. So grab all of the important stuff here. I'm going to remove the solar panel here to throw our cargo container on. Before we leave, let's throw an ore detector up there. Hydrogen tank, 54%. We might be good. Remove these blocks. Come on. Boom. Oh. Okay, we're good. We're good. It's flying. All right, so we should hop in and go as soon as possible. Check this out. It's working. Wow. That's amazing. All right, so let's get out of Earth's atmosphere. Bye, base. See you later. I'm going to miss you. I don't know if we're ever coming back because we might be going to Mars in a future episode. But first... Let's get to space and see what we can find. So we have 53% hydrogen fuel. 
We're 2,000 meters. How high is it to get out of Earth's atmosphere? 10,000 10, meters? 20? I'm not sure. There's the moon over there. Wow. A planet there. I think another moon. A planet there. Where is Mars? Is that Mars up there? I don't know. Okay, we're 5,000 meters above the Earth's surface. Hopefully I did not forget anything because if I did, I'm a little in trouble. And the sun is coming over the horizon over there. This is gonna look amazing once the sun peeks over, especially once we're in space. Oh wait, I think we could see the layer, the atmospheric layer right above the Earth. Are we out of it now? I don't think we're, no, we're not out of the gravity quite yet. That's probably a long distance. If you can see over there, we're only 10,000 meters. I think once that thing disappears, we're out of its gravity, out of its um, pole. Okay, do we see any asteroids around? Because we're gonna have to find one and land on it as soon as possible so that we can find ice to refuel this ship. Um, if in the future though, we will be able to get better thrusters like ion thrusters, but that requires a nuclear reactor and also I think uranium, which is hard to find. Okay, let's turn our ship this way to get a glimpse of the sun coming over the horizon. We're 36% on hydrogen fuel. It's going down pretty fast, but you know what? I think we can make it. I think we got this, hopefully. I should just do little bursts just like this so we can preserve our fuel. Oh, there's some asteroids poking into view. And the sun has reached over the horizon. Look at that. That's beautiful. Straighten out and head to those ones right there. We're doing good on fuel. I don't think I have to worry at all. But we do need to find some ice to refuel this thing. Look at that. That's awesome. All right, here we are. Asteroid's getting pretty close. So we should probably put our dampeners on so we don't crash right into it and explode. And we're going to come in for an asteroid landing. Hopefully there's ice on this. Um, I might be able to fly around it and see before we do make a landing, just in case. Because it's a little harder to find stuff in our spacesuit. Okay, let's see if this little rock here has some stuff in it. Wait, there's silver right there. Nothing in this one. Ah, oh, we might have to go to a different asteroid. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything else on this except silver. I might mark this though for the future. Wait, what? There's uranium right here! Oh my gosh, I've never got this lucky before. The first asteroid we found, we found uranium. That is super useful because now we can make ion thrusters, which don't require a ton of ice. We got 15% hydrogen. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Where's the next rocks? This is bad. We found some uranium, which was super lucky, but we got 10% fuel in our ship. I hope we can make a landing. We might have to make an emergency landing. Okay, coming in for a landing. The dampener's on, which is going to waste a lot of fuel. 5%, come on. We gotta get down there as quick as possible. Oh, three, two, one, land. Yes, we made it just in time with 1% hydrogen. Now the other bad news. If we can't find ice on this cluster of asteroids, we're in trouble. Eventually we will suffocate. So let's get our mining drill out and let's see. Please have ice. This one doesn't have anything, I don't think. Okay, let's go over to these little clusters. We got silicon right here. We got gold, that's not helpful. Iron, more silicon. Okay, this rock right here is our last resort. Oh man, please have ice. Ouch. Well guys, there's no ice. No ice on any of these, I don't think. Unless this is ice. Nickel, no. <laughs> All right, so I can't seem to find any ice on these asteroids over here. So what we're gonna have to do is we are going to have to spacewalk over to one of those farther asteroids to try to find ice or we're gonna be stranded here forever. What is that? It looks like there's some type of attack ship over there. All right, we're gonna avoid that, but I think we're gonna jump to this one over here because it's a little closer than uh, those other ones over there. Okay, so we're gonna turn off our dampener so we can save on hydrogen for our spacesuit here. And we're gonna fly over here. I have a good feeling that this one will have our ice in the future. If you wanna see this, we can build a little asteroid space station thingy because we're gonna need a lot of fuel for the future. Class attack ship, don't attack me, please. Actually, it's not red, so I don't think it will. Hopefully. It's just flying that way, so we should be good. Okay, give me luck by liking this video. Wait, what? You, you liked it? And look right here. I think this is ice. Oh my gosh. We got 
We got lucky. Well, not really lucky. Well, I guess we did. We found uranium. And then we found ice. Man. Okay, so we'll collect some of this ice here. And we'll come back with our space shuttle and make a base here in future episodes. Nice! I thought we were gonna be stranded forever. Okay, we also have a little bit of fuel in our suit as well, so... I think we're good. Okay, let's just get a full inventory of ice so that we can get over here safely. That should give us about 30% of our hydrogen tank full on fuel. And I think that's probably good. So let's, eh, let's get out of here. Climb out. Eh. Now we have to fly all the way back over to our ship. Wait, wait, wait. I got to mark this. I have to mark this before we forget where it is. Bang. It is marked. Oh man, we flew eight kilometers from that asteroid over to this one. Okay, we got quite a bit of fuel left in our suit here. I've just been bursting it, saving on a little bit of hydrogen. And we are back at our ship. Nice, we did it. Let's throw this in our O2H2 generator. And our hydrogen tank is filling. It's already at 10%. So we should be able to fly over there, hopefully. Uh, is this a bad idea? It m actually might be a bad idea. I should just sit here and wait. I've learned my lesson. Don't fly away without fuel in your tank. I think that's just a common sense kind of thing, actually. Okay, so we have 20% hydrogen in our tanks. We're going to release and turn on our thrusters. And let's head over to the ice, which is all the way over there. We should be good if we turn off our dampeners. And here we are. There's our asteroid with 18% hydrogen. We're gonna come in and land right by that ice and get our hydrogen tank fully filled up. We could probably add some more tanks and stuff like that on this ship, but I don't have any way of actually building one quite yet because we don't have the resources for it. We are good on fuel for a little bit. Let's just land right by this ice. Come on, go down nice and slowly, don't crash. And uh, pretty close, eight. Uh, let's just do our best here. Come on, come on. Uh -oh. Okay, go down before I crash. Go down. Wait, there's cobalt below me too. Nice. I think all we need to find now for the ion thrusters is platinum. Ion thrusters require a thruster component, which I think requires platinum and gold. But we've made it. We found a source of fuel in space on this asteroid, which is a pretty good place for a future base. So I'm just going to mine this to get some fuel inside our ship. And for now, I'm going to leave this episode off here. So if you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and thank you for watching and subscribing and remember stay sweet